Hi all, this is Mrs. First Grade and I'm here today to show you how to record your own audiobooks for free using a program called Audacity. Audacity is free to download, it's very simple to use and I'm about to show you how it works. First, once you have the program, make sure that you're in a new project, so just hit File New, and then check your audio settings. So you should see built-in output and built-in microphone here next to the little microphone icon. If you don't, you need to change them. Also, if you don't have a built-in microphone on your computer, this gets a bit trickier, but you can always buy a cheap one that you plug right into the back of your computer or your PC. If you have a laptop, though, it most likely has a built-in microphone. So check those settings, and if you're good, you're good. Now all you need to do is hit record. Once you hit record, it's going to record everything that your voice says out loud at the exact volume that you say it. Now as you can see, Audacity was just recording what I said, so let's give it a listen. Once you hit record, it's going to record everything that your voice says out loud at the exact volume that you say it. Now let's say that, I don't know, my dog started shaking his collar in the background. Shake, 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 shake. Now if I want to get rid of that, all I have to do is highlight it and hit the delete key. It's that simple. As you can see, Audacity will start recording wherever you have your cursor. So let's say I want to start where I left off. I put my cursor there. I hit record and now it's going to start right where I left off. So you see, you don't have to worry too much about editing because it's very simple. It starts right where you want and you can edit and delete anything that you don't want in your audiobook. Now what I always thought was one of the coolest features of an audiobook, at least when I was a kid, was how it used to make that cool little dinging noise every time you had to turn the page. Well, you can obviously get a bell that you can ring at home. I have a nice little teacher bell that works just fine. But you can also kind of get around that if you have some sound effects on your computer, and you might even have them without knowing it. If you have a Mac, try going down to System Preferences, and if you go to the sound area here, you actually have some built-in sound effects on your computer. So this glass one works really well as a dinging noise. All you have to do is click it. So actually, we use that little trick when we record our audiobooks. We just keep this little uh, window open, and then when you go to record your audiobook, just make sure it's visible. Let's start from here. Now I want you to turn the page every time you hear And then my computer just recorded that, and here we have a little dinging sound. So let's hear how it went. Now I want you to turn the page every time you hear. And I got a little extra sound in at the end, so here I go, deleting it. It's that simple. Something else you might want to consider is adding some music to your audiobook. It's really simple, especially if you have iTunes, but you could always just drag the music file from anywhere on your computer. So going into iTunes, Let's use the song from the Polar Express. Mr. Vinton used this one when he recorded the audiobook version of the Polar Express. All you have to do is click on the track, drag it into Audacity, and Audacity will import it for you. Now because this is such a long song compared to the very little voice that I recorded earlier, you can see that the voice parts kind of got smushed together there. So if you go up to the top and hit the little plus sign, you can make them a little bigger and a little easier to work with. If you don't want the whole song, you can always cut it off before it's finished by highlighting it and deleting it. So now that you have the voice part and you have the music part, you have to adjust the levels because chances are the music's going to be a little louder than you actually want. So give it a test by hitting play, but then look at your volume bar over here and drag it left or right to see if it's the right volume. Once you hit record, it's going to record everything that your voice says out loud at the exact volume that you say it. I hit record, and now it's going to start right where I left off. So now the music is at an acceptable volume compared to my voice, and I can mess around with it. Now let's say that you don't want an abrupt ending and for the music to just drop off at the end. There's a cool little feature, if you go up to the top and hit effect, that you can fade out. And it's going to fade out the whole thing. So at the end here, let's listen to how the music goes. And that way there's no abrupt ending to your audiobook. Once you have the whole audiobook the way you want it, now it's time to export it. So first of all, make sure that you went to the Audacity website and that you downloaded this lame MP3 encoder. Trust me, it's not as lame as it sounds. Just follow the directions here depending on if you have Mac or Windows, and it makes sure that you have the right plugin that you can use the MP3 format. 
So let's go back to Audacity. Since I already have the plugin, I can just hit File, Export. And down here, the format, I want to choose MP3. Give it a name, a file name. So let's say I want to say Sample Book. Then I just hit Save. It's going to warn me that all of my tracks will be mixed down to two stereo channels. That's okay, that's what I want, so I hit okay. And then it's going to give you the tags that you have to edit in terms of MP3. So for the artist name, I usually put who the author is. So let's say the author is Dr. Seuss. The track title, I usually make the book title. So let's say it's Hop on Pop. You could give it an album title like Mr. Vinton's Audiobooks. And you can really go as in-depth as you want. Sometimes, though, it does put in the information from the song MP3, so make sure you delete all that. Then you want to hit OK, and it will start mixing down your tracks and exporting your file. Now you're all finished. All you have to do is open up your audiobook in iTunes. Once you hit record, it's going to... And play. And there it is. That's all it takes. So recording your own audiobooks with Audacity is simple, it's easy, and it's free. If you have any questions, though, feel free to drop us a line in the comments, and we'd be glad to help you out. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you get to use this tool in your own classroom soon.